Hi, Harm here. Today I'm going to try another test on this Stove Daddy Hockey Puck Stove, which, I know, it's only a burner, because you have to supply your, your pot stand with it to make it a stove. Uh, the last time I tried this, let me get this started, and then I'll talk. Like this. Okay, that's going. Put the pot stand around it. I have two cups of water here setting at 58 degrees now. It's dropping down faster than you can count. Okay, while that's going, uh, the last time I tried this, the uh, bottle that it came with didn't really work too oh, didn't really work too good because it leaked. I got a letter from Stove Daddy. Should have brought this out, and he sent me a gasket. To try on this. Don't tell me I lost it. Oh, there it is. He sent me a gasket. This goes, you take the lid off, it goes up underneath and has a hole for the uh, little spout to come through on the inside, of course. So I'll have to give that a try sometime. What I'm using today is a uh, fuel reserve that I like, a remote fuel reserve. Normally I use it with a soda bottle like this but for this short test I'm just using that uh, let's see the other thing had to washer another thing you can try is on some bottles you can put an o-ring on there so that then when the lid screws down it's actually closed off on the o-ring so that's something else you can try for my tests and things I like using this I don't know if you just saw see the water the water the alcohol bubbling away there. So you do have to keep an eyeball on this. The uh, stove burner can just suck that alcohol in and on a short burner like this it could overflow. So you need to have a regulator, some sort of a shutoff valve, which is what this is. So just because you have a remote on, that allows you to use a smaller burner that can't hold enough alcohol in it to do the job, but by using a remote filler station you can use a smaller burner but you do need some sort of a shutoff valve like that you just push it down and it shuts it off so that the burner doesn't suck in all the alcohol and then overflow so let me see what this does we're already up to 110 degrees in a little over two minutes the test before if I remember right took five minutes and forty seconds to come to a full boil. So I'll cut here and I'll be back when it comes up to a boil. There we have 210, 211. Come on. 212 at about six minutes. Okay, that's actually a little bit longer than last time. Huh. I have a feeling that I don't have this pot stand at an optimal height. I'm using quarter inch uh, square hardware cloth, nine squares tall, so that makes it at about two and a quarter inches. The flames that were in there kind of uh, billowed out before it got to the bottom of the pot, so I think maybe this might be a little bit too tall. See if you can see this here. Nice flame. I don't know, I hope you can see on this camera the alcohol that's bubbling as the stove is sucking in the alcohol. So it's not a bad stove. Works pretty nice. I just have to, I don't have the right pot stand on it for it to work right. This is the hockey puck stove put out by Stove Daddy. I like it. I didn't like the bottle that it came with, but it works nice. The other thing that was nice about this was the uh, instruction set was one of the nicest that I've seen comes with all this information even with a whole big uh, sheet of color pictures like I said one of the nicest instruction sheets that I've ever seen on a stove okay I might do another one on this because I like I said I think this the pot stand is just too tall I'm not doing the the burner justice here so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions.
And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.